Marahil ay nakita mo na rin ang mga ito sa Facebook. Ikaw ba isa sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot? O di kaya naman ay isa sa mga sumubok, ngunit hindi sigurado sa kanila mga sagot? Kung nais mong malaman paano, halika't panuorin mo ang video nito. Today, we are going to talk about another important math concept called order of operations. The order of operations is very important as we go farther along with our math lessons. And at the end of our lesson, you should be able to perform a series of more than two operations and whole numbers applying parentheses, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or the PM does or groupings, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, or the GM does correctly. Order of operations. Let us remember that in mathematics, we have four basic operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the order of operations simply is a set of math rules that tells us the correct sequence of steps for evaluating a math expression or equation. Take this sample equation. 10 minus 2 times 4 equals. Let's say two students, namely Ramon and Sap, try to solve this equation. Ramon solved it this way. He started from the left side. 10 minus 2 and gets 8. Then bring down 4. 8 times 4, he gets 32. While Sa solve it this way. He started from the right side. 2 times 4 gets 8. Then bring down 10. 10 minus 8, he gets 2. And now they have a problem. They solved the same equation but got two different answers. Which of them do you think got the correct answer? By this example, we can say that math would be a very confusing subject if there were different answers to the same problem. So to avoid this problem, we will use something called the order of operations. The order of operations rules are a way for us all to agree in the order that we should do math operations. If we always do operations in the same order, we will always get the same answer. And now, let us find out what are these rules. First, perform operations inside the grouping symbols. So we use uh, commonly used grouping symbols are parentheses, brackets, and braces. Second step, perform multiplication or division from left to right. Third step, perform addition or subtraction from left to right. So, i-discuss natin yan sila isa-isa by step. So, unang step, perform operations inside the grouping symbols. So, sa example na ito, ang gagamitin natin ay parenthesis as our grouping symbol. Let's say, ang ating equation ay 12 minus open parenthesis 7 plus 2 close parenthesis equals. Since ang ating equation ay may grouping symbol, so dapat unahin natin solve ang operation na nasa loob ng grouping symbol. So, that's 7 plus 2. Sagot natin ay 9. Then, bring down lang natin ang natira mga numbers. So, ang bago natin equation ay 12 minus 9. So, our difference is 3. And our final answer is 3. Ngayon, how about kung sa isang equation ay may dalawang grouping symbol? So, in this situation, pwede tayo mag-solve kahit saan dyan sa kanila. As long as 
inuna nating solve ang nasa loob ng mga grouping symbols. So, you can do 3 plus 5, 8, or 5 minus 3, that's 2. Then, that's the time na mag-divide ka. So, 8 divided by 2, that's 4. So, our final answer is 4. Pangalawang step, perform multiplication or division from left to right. Halimbawa, we have 10 divided by 2 times 5. So, sa halimbawang ito, meron tayong division at saka multiplication. So, kung titingnan natin sa PMDAS, MD, na una ang M kaysa sa D. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na sa lahat ng panahon or all, all the time, mauna ang multiplication. Nakadepende yan kung sino sa kanila ang nauna from left going to the right. So dahil sa example natin ito, mas nauna ang division, so we will divide it first. So 10 divided by 2, that's 5. Then, saka natin i-bring down itong 5. So, ang bago natin equation ay 5 times 5, and we get 25. And our final answer here is 25. Okay, how about kung sa right naman tayo nagsimula? Halimbawa, so 2 times 5, we get 10. Then, we will bring down 10. At ang bago natin equation ay 10 divided by 10. So, that's equal to 1. And our final answer is 1, which is wrong. So, kapag tayo nag-solve with an equation na kasama ang division at saka di multiplication, we, would, we should always start from the left going to the right to get the correct answer. And not from right to left because that is wrong. Cut long step. Perform addition or subtraction from left to right. So as you can see, again, from the acronym MDAS, AS. So nauna ang A kaysa sa S. Pero hindi ibig sabihin niya na all the time, mauna ang addition kaysa sa subtraction. Depende yan siya ulit kung sino sa kanilang dalawa ang nasa left side. Halimbawa, 15 minus 12 plus 5 equals. So, since nauna ang subtraction, we will subtract it first. So, that's 15 minus 12 equals 3. Then, bring down natin yung 5. So, ang bago natin equation ay 3 plus 5 and that's equal to 8. The final answer is 8. And that's correct. Another example, we have 7 plus 3 minus 8 equals. So, from the left, mas nauna ang addition. So, we will add it first. So, 7 plus 3, we get 10. Then, bring down, we will bring down 8. 10 minus 8, that's 2. And our final answer is 2. And that's correct. So, balikan natin ang equation na... Uh, sinubukang isolve ni na Sak at Ramon kanina. So, that's 10 minus 2 times 4 equals. Gawin natin gabay ito. So, una, sipin natin, mayroon ba dyang grouping symbols? May grouping symbol? Wala. Mayroon ba dyang multiplication at saka division? Multiplication, mayroon. So, we will multiply it first. Dahil, mas higher priority siya kaysa sa addition at saka sa subtraction. Since wala namang division, so proceed tayo sa multiplication. 2 times 4, that's 8. Then, we will bring down the 10. Ang bago natin equation ay 10 minus 8. Sunod. Since walang division, meron bang addition? Wala. Meron bang subtraction? Meron. So, we will subtract it now. So, 10 minus 8, that's 2. And our final answer here is 2. Ibig sabihin, between Ramon and Sak, Sak got the correct answer. Let's try to do this together. 
given 7 plus open parenthesis 5 minus 3 close parenthesis times 2 equals gawin natin itong guide so una, mayroon ba dyan grouping symbols ok, mayroon so una natin operate ang given na nasa loob na grouping symbols so that's 5 minus 3 equals 2 then bring down ang remaining numbers. So our new equation will be 7 plus 2 times 2. So note, meron ba dyang multiplication? Meron. So una natin gawin ay multiply ang 2 times 2. That's 4. Then bring down 7. Meron ba dyang division? Wala. Meron bang addition? Meron. So that's 7 plus 4. 7 plus 4 equals 11. Meron ba dyang subtraction? Wala. So our final answer is only 11. This time, try to solve this equation by your own. The equation is 14 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 2 times 6. So here is your guide. I will give you 15 seconds to solve. Pero kung kailangan mo ng mas mahabang panahon, pwede mong i-pause itong video. Let's see kung tama ang iyong sagot. Una, Mayroon ba dyang grouping symbols? Wala. Mayroon ba dyang multiplication at saka division? Mayroon. Sino sa kanila ang nasa left side? That's division. So we will divide 8 by 4. 8 divided by 4, that's 2. Then bring down the remaining numbers. Our new equation is 14 minus 2 plus 2 times 6. Mayroon bang multiplication? Meron. So, we will multiply 2 by 6. That's 12. Then, bring down again the remaining numbers. Our new equation is 14 minus 2 plus 12. So, ang natirang operators are addition and subtraction. So, see, from the left, mas nauna ang subtraction. So, magsasubtract muna tayo. That's 14 minus 2 equals 12. Then, bring down the remaining number, which is 12. 12 plus and lastly, we will add 12 plus 12, that's equal to 24. And our final answer is 24. Kung tama ka, congratulations. Ngunit pumali ka naman, nice try. Try another one. Equation is 18 divided by 3 plus 7 minus open parenthesis, 3 times 3 close parenthesis equals. So, narito ang yung guide. Again, I'll give you time. Pero kung kailangan mo ng mas mahabang panahon, you can pause this video. Let's see kung tama ang yung sagot. Una, mayroon ba dyan grouping symbols? Mayroon. So, una nating operate ang numbers or ang operations na nasa loob ng grouping symbol. And that's 3 times 3. So, 3 times 3, that's 9. Bring down the remaining number. Our new equation is 18 divided by 3 plus 7 minus 9. So, mayroon ba dyan multiplication or division? Only division. So, we will divide 18 divided by 3, that's 6. Bring down the remaining number. Our new equation is 6 plus 7 minus 9. Natirang operators ay plus at saka minus. Since nauna ang plus, so we will add first. 6 plus 7, that's 13. Then bring down the remaining number. Our new equation is 13 minus 9. Last operation is subtraction, that's 13 minus 9 equals 4. And our final answer is 4. 
Alright, we are almost done. But let's look back to the rules before you start answering your exercises. So here are the rules in the order of operations under PMDAS or GMDAS. First, simplify within grouping symbols or parentheses. Second, perform multiplication or division in the order from left to right. Mm -hmm. Lastly, perform addition or subtraction in the order from left to right. For your last activity, evaluate the following equations. You may comment below your answers and I will randomly select those who can get the correct answers and they will be given the opportunity to be mentioned on our next video lesson. Today, you've learned how to solve equations using the order of operations. Good luck with your exercises. Please feel free to click the subscribe in this and other videos.